ministry friends, I want to spend a few minutes sharing some thoughts on how you can communicate efficiently with your different donor segments. So we're going to talk about major donors, mid-level donors, and general donors. Here are three things I want you to consider in communicating and developing relationship with each of those three groups. First is time, second is impact, and third is gratitude. So let's take major donors. Meet with them face to face. They deserve the time and the energy that you will give in developing a personal relationship with them. Be sure you're reporting impact. You know, major donors like to do things that others simply cannot do. So make sure you're sharing with them what your organization is accomplishing because of their partnership. And finally, thank them. Write a note, pick up the phone. When you have an exciting story, pick up the phone and share it with them, even if it's a voicemail. Let them know that they are appreciated. Next, mid-level donors. So mid-level donors can be your most loyal donor segment, and they deserve some personal attention as well. But you simply don't have the time to meet with them face-to-face. -face. But develop that personal relationship over the phone or in email. Get to know them. Why do they give to your organization? Be sure that you are doing all you can to develop that relationship. Share impact. Tell them what their consistency and their loyalty has accomplished. Be sure that you are telling them statistics and stories and share again that you just appreciate the work and the partnership that they are helping to accomplish with their investment in your organization. So make sure that you're writing those notes again, just like with major donors, picking up the phone or sending an email or letter. And then finally, your mass donors or general donors. Now this group certainly doesn't warrant that personal attention, but they do warrant follow-up. So make sure that you are following up with them in a timely fashion. First time donors to your organization generally um, won't give again unless they're engaged in a, on a regular, timely fashion. Only 27% of first-time donors continue to give to that organization. You want to make sure that your donors continue to give. So communicate with them. Tell them what their $20 or $25 a month is accomplishing. And then say thank you. Send that email communication in a prompt way. Um, be sure to send out receipts promptly. Ensure that you are saying thank you, no matter what level any donor is giving. All right, those are my three tips on time, impact, and gratitude with our three different donor segments. I encourage you, as you plan out and execute your fourth quarter strategy and fourth quarter communication, to think about and consider how you may communicate with each of those donor segments.